Let's see. Let's see. The forest. Ah, oh, beautiful. And describe the forest, if you will. It just goes on for miles and miles. It's just huge all around this mountaintop. Oh, wonderful. And I want you to look down on the ground. What do you see on the ground there? What are you standing on? I'm standing on a meadow. What are you standing on? A meadow. Oh, on a meadow. And look at where your feet are. What's there? Can you? I have wooden sandals. Oh, very nice. And then go ahead and look up your body. What, are you, what type of garb do you have on? Some shorts. Ah, oh, what color are your shorts? They're brown. And I want you to feel your body, touch your body. Are you male or female? I'm male. Oh, very good. And uh, what about your top? You have shorts on. What are you wearing up top? A tank top. Oh, very nice. And just look at your hands. What do your hands look like? They're rough from working. Does your body feel healthy? Yes. Are you wearing any jewelry or any ornaments or anything? I have a ring. And what does the ring look like? look like? Just a gold band. Oh, very good. And uh, are you carrying anything else with you? Any of the two? Are any of the, what, what do you work with? Do you know? I work in a mine. Ah, oh, very good. And so how old do you think you are? In my 30s. Oh, very good. And go ahead and put your hand on your head and, and feel your uh, feel your hair. What does that feel like? Is it long or short or do you have any hair? It's short. Oh, it's very short. Oh, okay. And now I want you to look back at the ground again and you say there you're standing on grass, you say, or dirt? Yes. It's like a meadow is like grass. Okay, now I just want you to look, just raise your eyes up and I want you to just make a really slow turn and just look all around you and tell me everything that you're seeing as you turn slowly around. I see animals. And what animals do you see? I see deer. Oh, awesome. And how many deer do you see? Is there a... There are three. And as you look around, uh, do you see any structures or any homes or anything to that effect? Or any buildings or... I see a small shack. Ah, so let's actually go to that shack and we're going to get there really quickly in three, count of three, one, two, three, standing in front of the shack. What is this? Describe the shack, please. Made out of wood. Mm. Is there a door on it? Yes. Can you open the door? Yes. Don't open it. Did you open it? Oh, okay. Now, how did you know that you worked in a mine? Do you know what your name is? Adam. Adam. Awesome. So you're Adam and you work in a mine. Adam, do you know what year it is? Seventeen fifty-three. 
Oh, very good. 1753. And uh, our, um, I will, if you look at the, uh, do you know what's, I'm sorry, which country you're in or what area of the world you're in? Canada. So you work in a mine in Canada. Your name is Adam. It's in the 1700s. Can you say that year date again? 1753. 53. Oh, very good. And Adam, could you go ahead and open up the, uh, the shed and just tell me what's in there? Are there two small living area? Oh, it's a small living area. Is this where you live? Yes. Oh, very good. And so go ahead and inside and just tell me what you see. I see furniture that I've made. Ah, uh -huh, you've made it yourself. And is there a sleeping area as well? Yes. Just a small Bunk. Okay, and uh, what about where do you store your food if you look around? Can you tell? Any type of food or substance? There's a small kitchen area. And go ahead and describe what that kitchen area will look like in 1753. It's just a small area that cook and process my animals that I've killed and oh very good do you think you lived there alone yes oh very very good okay so um and I want you to go outside again and tell me when you're outside Do you own any animals or do you have any uh, cattle or, you know, livestock at all? There's chickens. Oh, very good. And where are the chickens at? Are they in an enclosed area? Yes. Very, very good. And the mine, uh, what city are you, you're... Um, Let's go to where you work at. Let's go to the mine. And I think there may be people there. And uh, we're going to be there in a count of five. We're going to go there magically in five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. And so where are you now? I'm in front of a small hill. Mm. The mountains. Ah, oh, very good. Is there a cave entrance there where you're mining? Yes. Can you see that entrance there? Yes. And are there other workers there as well? Yes. Ah, uh, and how close is the closest worker? He is right next to me. Ah, oh, very good. And, uh, this might sound strange, but I just want you to shake their hand like you just walk down them or however you greet each other and ask them who he, who, he, who he is. What's his name? His name is James. James. And uh, what does James look like? He has a um, long hair kind of rustic looking beard and their rugged clothes. Awesome. And how old is James? He's in his 50s. And what's James' position? Is he a, a manager or a supervisor or? Yes, he's my boss. Ah, and who else is there with, who else is there with you? My friends that I work with. Ah, very good. 
Now, this may sound strange, but ask James, does he have a message for you? Because he may. Does he? He said that I work very hard. And he's glad I'm part of his team. Oh, very good. So you're a really good worker there. So that he respects you. And how did you say you were? In my late 30s. Oh, very good. And uh, do you have a female uh, partner? No. Oh, very good. And um, we'd like to leave that scene and let's move to an important day, a day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We have now more moved forward to that important day. What is happening? My brother's getting married. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And what's your brother's name? His name is Jacob. Jacob. And what's your last name? Jones. Jacob Jones. That's your brother's name and uh, you're Adam Jones. Do you have any more siblings? Little sister. Her name is Sarah. Awesome. Very good. Do you recognize any of those? Is Sarah there as well? Yes. And what does Sarah look like? She has got long blonde hair and she's thin and she's very happy. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. And what about your folks? Are they there? No. They both passed away. And how did they pass? Do you remember? <laughs> You're just observing. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to think about it. So what does your uh, brother's wife look like? She has long brown hair. Beautiful. She's thin. And she's wearing a white dress. A little bit past the knees. Very nice. And uh, where are they holding holding the ceremony? At a small chapel in the town. Uh, and what's the, what's the name of the town that you're in? Outside of Montreal. Oh, very good. Very, very good. We're going to go forward. We're going to leave that scene and go forward to the last day of your life. Now you can see it as an observer if you want to. You do not have to experience it. We have gone forward to the last day of your life in this lifetime and we are watching. What is happening? What do you see? Collapse. You're just watching. I want you to just come out of your body and watch the scene like you're watching on television. You, how is that easier? Is that better? Can you watch it from outside of the scene? Yeah. Oh, very good. Now with you're just observing almost like you're watching TV and just tell me what's going on in the scene. You say you collapsed? The mountain collapsed. Oh, the mountain collapsed. 
Okay, and you're inside the mind? Yes. And go ahead and describe what where are you in the cave? Yes. And we were extending the cave and we're using dynamite and it blew up the part. It caused a small fracture in the top of the cave and boulder fell and landed on me. Uh, so have you gone out of the body yet? Yes. Oh, very good. And so where are you now? Are you just... Was it, did you die fast? No. So they were they able to dig anyone out? I just want you to stay watching the scene, and as if it's magic and time just sped up, I want you to see what happens as you're watching the scene. Does it look like there's a, a rescue effort? Yes. And you're still un under that boulder, correct? Yes. And you haven't passed yet? No, it collapsed and it fell on the lower half of my body. So how long does it, as you're watching time speed by really quickly, do they ever uh, recover you? Yes. And at that point, are you still alive? No. Oh, very good. And we're going to go out of the body and... Now, whatever happened has already happened, and you are on the other side of it. And from that position, you can look back at the entire life and see it from a different perspective. Life has a lesson and a purpose. And as you look at that life, what did you learn from it? What did you learn from that life? I learned to take one day at a time. That every day is... could be your last. What do you think the purpose of that lifetime was? To show the ones I love every day that I love them. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And now that you're on the other side, I want you to turn away from that scene and turn away from that scene. And there's a beautiful, beautiful light on the other side of you. And I just want you to turn toward that light and tell me how does it look or how does it feel. Just describe the light to me, please. Oh, okay. And now I want you to look back at the ground again. And you say there you're standing on grass, you say, or dirt? Yes. It's like meadows, like grass. Okay, now I just want you to look, just raise your eyes up and I want you to just make a really slow turn and just look all around you and tell me everything that you're seeing as you turn slowly around. I see animals. And what animals do you see? I see deer. Oh, no. Oh, very good. And uh, what about your top? You have shirts on. What are you wearing up top? A tank top. Oh, very nice. And just look at your hands. What do your hands look like? They're rough from working. Does your body feel healthy? Yes. Are you wearing any jewelry or any ornaments or anything? I have a ring. And what does the ring look like? Look like? Just a gold band. Oh, very good. And uh, are you carrying anything else with you? Any of the two? Are any of the? What What do you work with? Do you know? Work in a mine. Ah, oh, very good. 
And so how old do you think you are? In my 30s. Oh, very good. And go ahead and put your hand on your head and, and feel, your, uh, feel your hair. What does that feel like? Is it long or short or do you have any hair? It's short. Oh, it's very short. On a meadow. And look at where your feet are. What's there? Can you? I have like wooden sandals. Oh, very nice. And then go ahead and look up your body. What, are you, what type of garb do you have on? The shorts. Ah, what color are your shorts? They're brown. And I want you to feel your body, touch your body. Are you male or female? I see. I see. The forest. Ah, beautiful. And describe the forest, if you will. It just goes on for miles and miles, just huge, all around this mountain top. Oh, wonderful. And I want you to look down on the ground. What do you see on the ground there? What are you standing on? I'm standing on a meadow. What are you standing on? A meadow. Oh, 